Hey, this is Boomerandu here. I'm going to show you my base and wanted to tell you that when you lose your prototype weapon, it's going to be very difficult to, to defend. So basically, I have a pretty good setup. Boom cannons are separated, can't be shocked. Shocks are separated, can't be shocked together. Rocket launchers cover the whole base. But I'm going to go through my activity log and show you that really, without a prototype weapon, it's very hard to defend at these levels. Let's get started with the first video. This replay basically is showing someone wiping out every single thing on my base uh, beforehand with GBE. I mean, when someone has that much GBE, you're really not going to be able to defend. But with a prototype weapon, those prototype weapons absorb so much GBE. It takes sometimes people using 40 GBE just to take out a giant shot blaster. Uh, so right now, I'm upgrading my weapons lab. It's going to Level 5, so it'll be max level, I'll be able to add two prototype weapons. So that's going to be really nice once I have those two prototype weapons. So as you can see, going through this base, they're just wiping me out. They're just collecting GBE, having fun here. They're really not even struggling at all. I don't even think I killed one of their players, so it's definitely a loss for me. I'd like to see uh, my prototype weapon hurry up and finish. I have about an hour left on it, but it's been a struggle for the last two days. So moving to the next video, you can see... I changed my base layout to try to give myself a little bit of a fighting chance. Tried to put the shock launchers in the middle, tried to spread out the rocket launchers to cover more of the base. But whenever these tank medics come at this base, um, even with grouped up defenses such as the boom cannons and cannons in the corners, because most people will attack in the corners, you really can't defend against it with, without a prototype weapon. So as you can see, I have one hour left. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but I wanted to show you some of these defenses and then show you the difference between getting raided constantly and without even getting any intel for your task force and going um, with raids and having a prototype weapon. So as you can see, they take out the center, they're going to the right. Now in this case, they ran over a lot of boom mines that I tried to place on the right hand side, but they really weren't able to take out uh, all those boom mines with the heavies. They're going forward. Again, there's really not much of a struggle. The rocket launcher is laying into the heavies. But again, it's just, it's just not going to be able to defend without something tearing into those troops, especially with a nice tank heavy, uh, excuse me, a tank medic combo or a heavy group of combo. Uh, they lost a lot of troops there, but they still were able to take down my base. So this next one is another tank medic combo by Umiti. Um, again, they're taking out the center boom cannon. It absorbs a little GBE. I know they're going to take it out. That's why I space it, space it out so that um, it doesn't cause collateral damage on other buildings surrounding it. But they're just going to the left there. They're having a good time just destroying my base. And there really isn't a whole lot I can do. I've tried several layouts. These are the two most recent layouts. Uh, so in about 10 seconds here, my base is down. And it's down. So we're going to go back out, go into another one. You can see the layout's pretty solid. When I had a prototype weapon, I think it was a shot blaster 2, uh, right there where the boom mine, where the boom cannon is in the center, they were able to um, defend, this base was able to defend fairly well just because it would um, annihilate so many of those heavies or stop the Zookas, uh, excuse me, the tank medics in their tracks. But this particular person just overpowered my base, completely overpowered my base with no prototype weapon. So I'm looking forward to having two prototype weapons. I'm thinking about building um, either a shock blaster, dual shock blasters, or possibly going with a doom cannon and a shock blaster. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking a doom cannon and a shock blaster would be a nice first combo to test out having two prototype weapons. Um, it, would just, it would deter a lot of tanks uh, having to go up against those doom cannons. And then the shock blasters would just be there just to wreck, wreck havoc any try, anybody try to attack with uh, tank medic or heavy zooka, doom cannon, and a shock blaster. The video cut here, but again, it was just a takedown with another um, tank medic combo. But again, here we go. 58 more minutes, and I'll have level 5 weapons lab. 58 minutes. So wish me luck. Uh, hopefully there won't be another raid. I'm trying to build up so I can upgrade something big right after that.